Hello everyone, this is Farid Pramani and welcome to Ignite the Spark and today's topic is very interesting. You might have heard this word called procrastination and you might have heard this word called being lazy. We have seen many people, many bright authors like Stephen Covey and all them, they use these words a lot. And in corporate America and elsewhere, many uh, Fortune 500 companies spend time and energy to coach their people on how to stop them from procrastination. Now, let's let's dive deeper into what is procrastination and what is being lazy. Sometimes lazy we know, lazy being fact is voluntarily being unwilling to do something, right? So if you don't want to do anything, you want to sit idle, people call us or we call ourselves as being lazy, right? Poor habits, waking up late in the morning and, you know, those kinds of things. While procrastination can happen to very hardworking people as well. And by definition, it says that the action of delaying or postponing things is called procrastination. Now, how is it different? How is procrastination not being lazy? There are a lot of tests done. There are a lot of psychological uh, papers and journals published, but the real reason getting diving deeper into what the psychological gurus suggest is people tend to postpone things despite of being very hardworking because they cannot believe in unreal. Now, this is a very big important point to understand. We see people who are visionaries are those who can get to imagine things that don't exist today but that will be there tomorrow. Let's say when Amazon got started, nobody would knew that people would spend so much energy and money on buying books online, right? That idea was naive. And then they eventually entered into something. Then a person brought Tesla and he thought that he would change the world with carbon credits and doing electric cars. That was also unreal idea, but he imagined it in such a way that it became concrete for him. So why I give these two big examples is we see highly successful people are visionaries. People who are successful are mediocre visionary, but they want to stick to ideas that could convert. And then there are entrepreneurs who are non-visionaries who you see are fond of doing things which are replicas. By replica, this means the ideas already exist. Somebody is already doing that thing, making money. And until they see that that person is making money from some idea which works out well, then they put their life and energy to it. So nobody is right or wrong. It's just all the entrepreneurs have different mindset. Now you have to think who you are. Now, it's a big say in terms of investing as well, that if you want to make big money, invest in a company which is visionary, that could change the world. But the problem is, you want to ride in a visionary train, but you don't have guts for that. And that's why it's a human psyche that you, mind does not trust on things that is unreal, right? Heart can, but mind cannot. And that's why procrastination comes into play, you know? So it's not being lazy, but it's idea of involuntarily, involuntarily postponing things because mind does not believe that happened. Now, Put one hand on your heart and think about some idea which has turned out into reality today. And you also, when this idea did not exist, you thought that, man, this could work out. But you did not trust your idea and somebody else made that a reality. Now, if you follow, you will not be a visionary leader. You will be a follower. So followers, the game is easy, but that's why everybody else is doing that. Profit margins are slashed. But for a visionary first movers, you have to learn to develop trust on things which are unreal. Now, let's come to three strong points. If you are a visionary entrepreneur and you want to create something which does not exist today or on which people laugh or in which your maybe family or spouse or friends laugh that, hey, come on, this might not turn out into reality. So you might need to say yourself that you are in the right direction because as we spoke, they might be somebody who would not believe until it exists, right? So how you drag yourself, how you push yourself, how you keep yourself away from procrastination, three things. Number one, once you agree, 
you did your research, your heart set, mindset, emotional set, is there you want to go for it, then set deadlines, set milestones, and then set deadlines. What will this happen is this will make your heart with that all is well, all is well approach, stick to a direction. So when you have smaller milestones, let's say we developed the robot pattern, right? And there were times that our investors were laughing, our team were laughing, and we ourselves were also thinking, would this be real? We had to go through a lot of challenges. But breaking that down into crystal clear deadlines and small tasks, like let's say divide your big project into 20 small tasks, each task is maybe could be every week, could be bi-weekly, could be monthly. So when you set a deadline, you feel that you're in a game to success, right? You can congratulate yourself as we saw in the last video and you can stick to it, you know, especially things which are unreal if you're working as a visionary entrepreneur. Point number two, you need to ask for help. You know, many people, many of us are shy, especially hiring mentors and mentorship would be very expensive. Sometimes it's not expensive, but it's time consuming. Mentor would not agree to give you time until they feel that you are there in the game. There is enough skin in the game, right? Or there is some motivation for them. So there are all different sorts of mentors. You have to go out and ask for help from someone who has either done what you are trying to do or something close to what you have done, okay? And point number three is keep changing your mindset. Keep on changing your product until your gut feel becomes strong because see it's unreal right it's not there right now you know a blurry approach that yeah this is the need but when you go with a mindset that i know everything you start becoming unreal and you don't listen to your heart so in a war between your heart and mindset where you are trying to stop your mind from procrastination you need to listen to your heart and a heart will give you customer feedback vendors feedback, B2B feedback, B2C feedback. Maybe sometimes your investor could be also in the right direction giving you feedback. Maybe your investor is someone so experienced person that he has gone through those failures and he could save you. So you need to be open as well and you need to allow your mindset and heart set to absorb to direction, but don't change your goal, fine tune it. There's a very baseline difference on fine tuning and changing your goal. I hope this entrepreneurial video helps you. They are slightly different than the generic videos out there. Uh, try to keep it under five minutes and hope this helps. So don't procrastinate. If you do, follow these three steps. I hope this helps you. Farid Primani, stay blessed.